Well, uh, I'm glad that we both had the idea of uh, checking these leaf springs beforehand. We took a tape measure to the center pin to the where the pin goes for the center there. It is actually 37 and a quarter inches from the center to there on one side and 35 and a half, I think, or 35, somewhere in there. Anywho, it's shorter on one side than the other. We went and checked the other side, so the long side goes to the back and the short side goes to the front. We had it in here backwards. I'm really glad we checked that because if we would have got the spring all the way in there, it wouldn't have been right. So we got it checked, so now we got to flip it around, get it stuck up in there, and then we'll be ready to go. So what we done here was we took a ratchet strap and looped it around right here on this side so it'll pull against the spring so the retainer here is holding it and hooked it up there so it's pulling up and in so we could get it in the pocket there. So we got that in on this side. We'll get our shackles and everything hung and get this side fixed. Then we'll jack this side up with our bellow block and the mount over here where it bolts <clears throat> into the bottom of the bus and get the spring hung. All right, well, we're getting ready to put this spring in. I had the idea of using the cherry picker and some straps here so we can get up and over the axle here because it sits on top of it. But we've got to go in and snake it in here and go sideways with it and curl it back in there and then roll it up into place. That's how we got the other one out. But if it's dangling on the strap, we can maneuver it and you can see it, it moves real easy. And we don't have something else we found out. We went ahead and measured the pin, center pin to the center of the perches on both sides and we found out that it is an inch shorter on the back than the front. So we went and measured the other side and that's the way it goes. So the short side goes to the rear, the long side goes to the front or vice versa. I can't remember. It's set up how it's supposed to be right now. but. That is something that when you do leaf springs on stuff, it's always a good idea to check where your center pin is to the correlation to these. Because if you get it backwards, your axle is going to be crooked or it won't line up at all because this pin right here is what aligns everything. And there's a hole in the axle and in that plate that sits down on it. And those are your alignment holes. Uh, We've got the spring in here. We still got to get everything lined up over there. Um, got to get the shackles on. One problem we do have: this is one of the this is the new pin that Sage got from uh, wherever he got it from. The size of the hole for the pin. If we put this one on the the pin from the bus, you can see it's kind of stiff going on there. Well, the pin we got sent to us is a little loosey-goosey so we're gonna have to get another pin that's the right one because it's too thin in diameter right here versus this one but for now at least we can hang the spring so we can keep rolling but we're gonna have to get the right pin for it you can kill it tension off of it. Yeah. Well, I'm recording just in case. <laughs> Yay! Carter's Garage blooper is real. <laughs> There's some videos with bloopers in them. Okay, now where's the pry bar? That other hill bar over here still? Oh, it's gonna be hot. Oh, it ain't too bad. Alright, jack up a little bit. Okay, never mind. Go down a little bit for a second. Alright, I gotta stop. 
All right, so for our end of the day, we've got uh, we got our U-bolts. Crosby's gonna go get those made up for us tomorrow in the morning. Uh, we gotta get another bolt for up there. It was stripped, so we're gonna get another bolt. Um, get our U-bolts and get this all back together. We still need a pin for the uh, top one. After we get our pin, we can get all that all bolted up, but it's at least hung for now. Uh, we gotta get our hubs off or drums I mean so we can get those turned in the morning and other than that I think Tyler's gonna get an air tank or two air tanks for the back of it too tomorrow so we can try getting this thing as close to being done as we can tomorrow so hopefully before long this thing will be moving on down the road